Well, I started this series about five weeks ago, and I, I mentioned a story that I was in a book called Walking with the Wise in Real Estate, and it was written some years ago. In fact, one of the authors in the book was actually Donald Trump back when he was a real estate investor. And there's some really great stories in this book. And my, my chapter in the book was on real estate is the ideal investment. Uh, I for income, D for depreciation, tax write-offs, E for equity, equity buildup, uh, A for appreciation, the benefits that you get from owning real estate. And today I'm going to be talking about the final letter L for leverage. Well, real estate provides an amazing opportunity to do things that you really cannot do in other industries. And for people like you and me, for average people that are just purchasing property, holding property long-term, maybe selling it in the future, maybe keeping it as an income stream for retirement. Certainly the opportunity is big when you, when you deal with residential real estate. And I love residential real estate. And there's a big reason that I do because people need houses. They need a place to lay their head. They need a safe place to live. And so as a result, everyone needs a home. Now in our world, real estate allows something that other investments don't allow. And that is to leverage that asset. Now let's say for example, that you buy a piece of real estate. Well, the bank will automatically give you 80% of value. Now that means that if you buy a property for hundred thousand dollars, the bank will give you $80,000. You can take that $80,000 and invest in other real estate, or you can buy that hundred thousand dollar property and the bank will give you an 80% loan, but they will even with insurance, go up to 97% of the value of the property. So all you have to put in is like 3% of the value of the property to own it. Now that my friends is what we call leverage because you've got that 97% being financed by the bank, literally by your signature, you have now got up to 97% of the value of the property. And that can be a very big thing when it comes to being able to expand your portfolio, buy more properties and leverage. So let's think about this. Now with the stock market, for example, the stock market allows leverage too, but only 50% of value. So if you bought a hundred thousand dollars worth of stock, the stock market, it says, look, you're good. We're going to give you a loan of $50,000 against that hundred thousand dollars worth of stock. And if that property, excuse me, if that stock drops in value by a certain amount on, on a day's length of time, we're going to do what's called a margin call because we are concerned that we're not safe in this transaction. So you're going to have to come in with a chunk of money to cover this loan that we've given you. Well, that just doesn't happen in real estate. Uh, when you own real estate, it keeps its value. It holds its value typically for a, an extended period of time. Now I'm not saying that markets don't go up and markets don't go down. In fact, I talked about that last week, uh, but we have some great opportunities coming our way. And in fact, I'm going to be, be having a whole conversation about that next week. And so in our world, we love the fact that leverage is a big part of the real estate game because you get so much more leverage than you can in other types of investments. So definitely take advantage of leverage. Now, one thing to say about how we do leverage is we love to start with the seller as the bank. In fact, in my volume one buying, and also my training, my four day training on millionaire deal maker, where I'm teaching you how to structure transactions. One of the places that we raise our money from is the seller themselves, because the seller already has a thing called equity. One of the things in the ideal investment is equity and the seller already has equity. Now they can lend you that equity 
in the form of a purchase money note. So what a great way to leverage yourself when the seller actually will carry back financing. So we love that one. And in some cases, the seller already has an existing loan on the property. Well, there are ways to take over that existing loan. Again, leverage for yourself. You get to save your credit report. You get to save any open to buy that you might have as an investor because you can take over the existing financing of the seller. So that's another way you can leverage. The third way you can leverage is to actually borrow from the bank. And like I already said, they're pretty much going to, if they like the asset and they like your ability to pay, they're going to give you an 80% loan off the bat. And with insurance, like I said, you can take that up to 97% of value. So you've got another way you can lever using your own credit if you wanted to do that. Now, to me, that's not the street smart way of investing. So I, have been in this business for over 40 years. I've never been to the bank. I've never qualified for a loan on a single family or small multifamily property. And the reason is I don't have to. I figured out that there's other ways that I can purchase that property without having to use bank financing. Another way that we fund our deals is private money financing. Now I love private money lenders, been doing that since almost day one that I got into this business now over 40 years. Some of my lenders have been with me literally for decades, for decades, and they love what we do. They love how we do it and they love their return on investment as well. So we love private money lenders. And another type of lender is what's called hard money lenders. And again, they'll lend up to 65%, usually off the bat, some all the way up to 75% on hard money loans. And that's typically more of an investment type loan where they're taking a risk with you. Maybe you haven't fixed up the property yet. And so they're taking a risk, but they're not going to give you as much as a bank would give. Now the bank wants to see fixed up properties. So there's your opportunity cost when you, when you work with a hard money lender, but there's many ways we can finance our transactions and that produces that wonderful L called leverage baby.